in the last video we showed how two surfaces can be created and then we showed how um, a volume between these two surfaces can be generated. Often a very useful um, thing that can be done between surfaces to generate a cat fill map. This is not the most useful example because it's mostly cut, but at least it shows the principle of how it can be done. So again, we can say that the original surface is the topsoil strip, the final surface is the box cut. We need to name this, so I'm just going to call it cut fill. And we can choose to shade the map, to label the map. We can put it into a specific layer. So I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm going to call this one a cut fill. Close that and put it into the new layer. This is the grid spacing in our cut fill map. So I'm going to choose 10. And then if I tick the box label surface elevations, it's not only going to give me a label saying what the cut or the fill is, but it's actually going to label what the um, existing surface elevation is as well. So normally I would leave that unticked. Um, the text style is important. This is basically how big your text is going to appear in the cut fill and you can edit it and see how it looks. I normally set up some um, textiles that are based on paper space. So it means that if we change the scale of the drawing, then essentially the text will change automatically. So we'll try this and we'll see if it looks what it looks like. So I just hit OK to that. And we can see TBC chuntering along. I've chosen it for, I've chosen for it to sh uh, shade the map. Um, we're just going to turn some of these layers off. So that is, and I shouldn't have put it into layer zero in it, but it'll turn it into turn off so we don't get rid of the text. And we can't actually see um, basically any of the text values because of the, the heavy shading. So here we could choose to change the text style, or we could just choose the cat fill map here. And we could actually just choose that we do not want um, to. So we'll just turn off the shading so we can actually see our cut fill map. So you can see it's basically generated a cut fill map here. And I've basically got a cut as it's shown here, plus 10.575C for cut. And there's a very few areas in the job in the pro in this particular project that we actually have a fill. I think we maybe have some around here somewhere. And it basically just has an F after the value. I can click on these values and I can choose to say that um, I can change the text size. I can choose to change the grid spacing. So if I decide a five meter spacing is more suitable, then we can change that. We can change to put a, a slight offset on it, or we could choose to put an angle on it. So if I choose 45 degrees, then you can see that we can basically edit the cut fill map. So the text we can export or if we wanted to draw, generate an image, then once again, we can just go back here and we can go to the plan view and we can change and we can actually export this as a nice graphical image um, as a image file from TBC. So that's a quick overview on how to create a cut fill map um, between two surfaces in TBC.